All right, let's let the girls out. Hey, girls. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Hi, Stella. It's my blue wager. Hey, Nikki. Corn muffin, cornbread. Let's go get out there. Go eat some bugs. Go eat sticks or whatever you guys do. You better lay some eggs. See what these girls laid here. All right. Not bad. Good girls.
fire in. Couple of them got me. Hate those little buggers. While I'm down on this part of the property, let me show you what happened during that storm. These are all really giant poplar trees. We got some red oaks mix, mixed in with them. Uh, oh, this is from years ago. This is where I found my lion's mane mushroom on these logs. And uh, anyway, I don't know if you remember, and in my past videos, I have a little stream spring down here i had a beautiful path going down i had a little rock waterway going to it but i don't know if you'd see off in that direction there is the root way over there this tree fell towards me fell across the stream let's see if i can even get through here no spider webs so this is the the top of the poplar tree right here gives you an example of one of the giant ones that grow back here and there's a lot of deer and turkey and all sorts of animals back here now i kind of like when they come up on my property but they can't access this, access it now from this area so what i got to do is i got to break out a chainsaw and i got to cut myself a path through here Bad news is that, good news is I am gonna have a ton, a ton of firewood next year. So this is gonna be a winter project. Uh, once all these leaves uh, get off these branches and that'll make it a lot easier for me to see. And I also won't have to worry about spider webs, poison ivy and all that good stuff that'll affect me. So this will be a project that I'll probably do sometime in November or December and uh, get back down to that little uh, access to that the stream down here and the the spring so that's a future project let me see your 
What are you feeding them tonight, honey? Oh, we have rice and beans, corn, mm -hmm. celery, apples, cucumber, um, grapes. dried oregano, grapes, and oats. Oh my I don't gosh. Let us bed. What am I eating tonight? A hamburger? Yep. <laughs> Let's go. There they are. Nancy has, they know their food. Grapes. Good job, honey. You're like mother, mother chicken or whatever. The chicken whisper. Not like mother goose, chicken whisper. Okay. Thank you. Pamper chickens. You better lay me eggs. Well, guys, that is a small indication. Ugh, let me get out of here. I was just down in the woods here. Small indication of uh, what maybe a day would look like here on my property. Um, I had worked the last couple days, so I didn't really get a chance to do anything. So kind of crammed it all into one day. Um, doing the grass isn't hard, uh, but I think it's gonna, got some cool weather coming in. So maybe going dormant, that may have been the last time I had to do that. So uh, like I said, Maybe not tonight, but the next four nights after that, it's supposed to get down into the low to mid 30s. That's going to be real interesting. And I've been keeping up with the Foothills Trail through a couple sources, and uh, hopefully, and they are working on it really hard. I got to give those guys credit. And uh, maybe I'm going to check with them. I don't want to get in anybody's way, uh, but I really like to get up there to do a day hike and. More so, I'd really want to get up there to do an overnighter. Whether it's a solo or ask somebody to come with me, we'll see about that. But uh, like I said, I don't want to get any of his buddies way up there. I want them to do their work and uh, get that precious Foothills Trail back going. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you for following Walker's World. And I hope to see you soon out on the trail. Take care. Take care.